how much gold is in the world? I was looking at some bricks of gold that came into the exchange and thinking to myself, how many ounces are actually out there? How much is it all worth in dollar terms? Let's get to the bottom of it. Felt like it would make a cool video. Let me know what you think in the comments below on the accuracy of everything. Before we get started on the actual details and statistics and all the data over here on my screen, I want to tell you that this is an estimate. It's both, a, it's like a yin and yang situation, a good and bad situation where it's good that we can have sovereignty with gold, where there isn't a, like a perfect ledger system of the exact amount of gold out there in the world, but it is also a bit scary not knowing how much gold each individual country really has. We haven't really even audited Fort Knox in quite a long time. We have no idea how much gold the U.S. has. Supposedly, we have more than anybody else, but do we really? Put a comment down below on what you think about that and whether you think it's a good or a bad thing. You know, I, I see both the positive and the negative in it. Um, but it's an interesting aspect that we're doing our best to make an estimate in this video. Wanted to make that point, but let's get over to the screen over here so we can get to the bottom of things. The first thing I wanted to go over is the amount that we're told. So this is actually from gold.org. It says the best estimates currently available suggest that around 205,000 tons of gold has been mined throughout history. So there we have a figure of how much gold is above ground and how much has been mined throughout history to the best of our knowledge. So it's from all the websites that I've searched, that's the figure that I get at towards, or that's the figure that I've been seeing is somewhere between 200 and 210,000 tons of gold out there in the world. So I actually, we're going to calculate exactly what that's worth in dollar terms. The next thing I want to talk about before we do that is how much is available to be mined. When we talk about underground gold reserves, this is basically mining operations in individual countries and how much they ha they believe they have in the crust that, that is available to process. There's much more gold out there, but it does we, we're not set up to mine it. So this is just talking about what is actually out there to be mined is roughly 53, so roughly a quarter of the of what has been mined in the world of what they're saying on the estimates is available to be mined in the gold reserves around the world. Australia actually leading the way in the reserves more than everybody else. It's pretty crazy how much gold they have over there in Australia. Ironically, this gold bar on my table is a Perth Mint, 20-ounce gold bar from Australia. Uh, so they have 10,000. Russia following them as a close second at 7,500. And the U.S. only at 3,000. Despite having, or what we're told, having more gold than anyone else, actually not as mineral rich as Russia and Australia. Something to think about. Um, so again, that figure is 53 trillion. Now let's go back to this figure here. We got the 205,000 tons that they say is in the world. So let's get to an estimate of how much that actually is. Now, where should we start? We can go to handy Google here and we go one ton is equal to 29,166 troy ounces. It's so roughly 30,000 troy ounces per ton. So what we can do is take out our handy calculator here and let's get to the bottom of it. Each troy ounce is worth 1,800. So we'll go 29,166.7 times 1,800 is the current melt price of gold. And we get a figure here of, what does that come out to? $52 million per ton. $52,500,000 per ton. So now we can go to that figure of 205,000. Let me move the calculator up here for a second. Go back to this figure. We got 205,238 is the number that we're telling us. Again, this is a total estimate. This number could be up or down by 10, 20%. This is a total estimate. Again, could be seen as both a positive and a negative aspect uh, with gold. But let's multiply this figure here by 205,238. And we get a grand total of 10 trillion 775 billion and change. Now that seems like a big figure, doesn't it? 10 trillion, almost 11 trillion dollars worth of gold has been mined out there in the world, giving a total market cap of the above ground gold in the world of roughly 11 trillion dollars at the current price of 1800. And that is the melt price. Sounds like a big number is a big number, but not according to the people that run the deficit in the U.S. 
they've managed to triple that number, believe it or not. They're at roughly $31 trillion in debt here in the U.S. So although that's a big number, if we were on a gold standard, it kind of shows you just how out of line they are. Just their deficit is roughly 3x that figure. So now we know, not exactly, but a rough figure of how many trillions of dollars worth of gold is out there. And it seems like a big number at first, but when you realize just how big the deficit is, it makes you realize big number, not actually that big. Interesting to think about. So let's go over some other stats here in the video as well. So at least we now know in dollar terms, roughly where we get that $10, $11 trillion figure from. And then also the other thing to talk about too is when we look at this available gold to be mined or the reserves underground that is there to be processed is roughly 50,000 tons, which basically comes out to, a, what is that, of the overall available market cap, when you talk about 200, that comes out to what, around 2.5, 2.5 trillion, 3 trillion, something in that range is available to be mined. So you could add to that figure of 10, 11 trillion, another 2, 3 trillion based on what is available to be mined. There's, again, a lot more gold than that, but this is just talking about the reserves around the world uh, available to be mined with mining operations. But now let's talk about these actual mining operations, how much gold is being added to the pool year over year. So this is some data from 2020. Together, the world's top 10 gold miners produced 200 or not 200, 27.48 million ounces in 2020 worth approximately 48 billion. So 48 billion, roughly 50 billion is about 5%, right? So if you have a 10 trillion figure, roughly four or 5% of the total market cap is being produced year over year with gold. So they're adding another roughly 4% year over year uh, to that overall figure. So it, it puts it into perspective uh, just how much gold is out there and how much they're mining it. The biggest gold miner, it looks like it's Newpont, uh, then Barrick Gold, then following these others as well, but the biggest ones, Barrick and New, or Newmont, excuse me, uh, with these gold miners. But yeah, that was, it, it's kind of eye-opening to actually see the, the data to the best of our abilities of how much gold is actually out there this was another thing about the or what's in the Earth's crust. It was interesting to see that while gold, silver, and copper and other base precious metals are among the most sought-after elements, together they make up less than 0.03% of the Earth's crust. And it shows the precious metals down here in their percentages. So not much gold out there in the Earth's crust. Um, let me know what you think about this video. If it was eye-opening, if there's some stuff I missed out on, please put it in the comment down below. If you found some value in it, hit the like button. would really appreciate that. If you want to know what I do for a business, check out my website, mineralexchange.com. That's why I have it over here. If you want to check it out, I own an auction house, mineralexchange.com. If you're into rare precious metals, that's my business. Again, mineralexchange.com. If you want to shoot me a follow on my Instagram and see all these gold bars and stuff and close-up pictures of it, and all the cheesy stuff I post on Instagram, shoot me a follow at Rob Soltan on Instagram. would really appreciate that. It's nice to have a little bit of uh, not be too focused only on one platform. So I always like to put notifications. I'll probably put a notification in my story about this video being dropped. So please check that out and shoot me a follow over there. Again, if you have some comments that I didn't bring up in this video, please make your voice heard in the comment section down below. Um, tried to do the best of my abilities to kind of give some rough figures here. But again, we, we don't know exactly how much gold is out there. What we're told, this is the last thing I'll go over in this video before we end it here, is what they're telling us, if we go down a little bit, here's the gold reserves of the world. And we can see that the United States is clearly very far ahead of everybody else. Then next up, we're, they're telling us is Germany, then Italy, then France, then Russia. But the interesting aspect is when we go back to this chart, it shows that you know, Russia and Australia are very, very gold rich in their gold reserves. But in, interestingly, when we talk about gold above ground in reserves, the U.S. shows the most, then Germany, then Italy, then France, then Russia. Excuse me, even though Russia is much more mineral rich, it could be much higher than that. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, then you got China, Switzerland, Japan, India, uh, and it goes down from there. But yeah, it's kind of interesting that we don't know exactly how much is out there, but from what we're told, again, U.S. has the most gold above ground. Hopefully this video was worthwhile. If it was, hit the like button. Again, really would appreciate you doing that, and make sure you're subscribed. Click the subscribe and the bell afterwards. 
Really appreciate if you did that as well. It's kind of a, it's annoying having to say that every single video, but we're trying to grow around here. We're trying to grow on this YouTube. Uh, so we'd really appreciate it if you did those things. See you at the next video. Signing out.